Congratulations to Pokemon Master for staying on the island the longest, never leaving, and winning his choice of permanent fruit, which is of course, the permanent dragon fruit. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the next video. Today, I will be doing a giveaway type of video, where I will be giving away a perm fruit to whoever can stay on the pirate starter village for the longest. So we got our competitors here, we got Beru, we got a uh, Pokemon Master, and we got Omelets, uh, I can't, <laughs> can't see his name properly, but yeah, there are four people into there. And let's get started now, Where, whoever's the last to leave the island, Some of course, wins the burn fruit. Alright, let's get into the first challenge. So the four, for the first challenge, I will be splitting in the island in half. So people can only stay in that half of the island. So from this pathway to the other side of the map, they can only stay on the side with the NPCs. If I catch them going over this side at all, they are out. This side guys, come over here. Don't leave this side now or else you will lose. Alright, so let's see what fruit everyone wants to win. Let's see it. Either double or dragon. Yeah, nice. Dragon, it's really good. Don't know yet. Respect, yeah. I wouldn't know, to be honest. Oh, someone left the island. Oh no, that's so sad. I don't, I don't even know if they were entered into the competition. I, I considered them entered in, but apparently they just leave the island. They don't want a free fruit. Oh, well, that sucks for them. <laughs> They're lost, not mine. Ah, that's very unfortunate. He obviously didn't see the message in the chat. This is why you guys always have your chat open, guys. <laughs> always keep an eye out for people like me. Alright, so for the next challenge, I'll need everyone to spread out. Spread out, guys. Yep, there we go. And now, you guys are not ready for this. Find a group of two, of three people. Group into three people. Oh, that looks like a group of three. Why are they splitting into groups of two? There they go. Who's going to run over? Who's going to run over? There we go. Ah, oh, that's very unfortunate for... Who's out? Ah, oh, that's very unfortunate. Omelette was the one who got out. That's unlucky for him. Nice try, man. You can spectate if you want. I I'm open to spectating. Anyway, sorry for being out, but that's the nature of the game. There's only three people left now. It'll be very interesting to see who wins. So, now I think I'm just going to leave. See what happens. Yep. Try not to leave, yep. There we go. What is he doing? He's attacking me with the doe skill. No. <laughs> Yep, so I'm just going to go AFK for a bit, I think. Yep, I'm going to go AFK for a given amount of time, but I'm not going to tell them how long that period of time is, just to, you know, mess with their heads a little bit, maybe get one or two people out, we'll see how we go. And then I'll just have a time lapse of the me doing nothing, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Everyone, don't lose their minds. I'm gonna go check over the footage. Everyone's saying that Beru went over the line. This is some interesting news that I'll definitely have to check. So I'm gonna go look over the footage right now and check if he actually stepped on the line. We'll see if that's true or false. Yep, I think he was just dashing around in the middle area after careful consideration of looking at the footage. So, well, anyway, let's get into the next challenge. I reckon the next challenge is in order. So, everyone has to defeat NPCs for two minutes straight. I would say the time limit on not defeating an NPC is five seconds. So, if you don't defeat an NPC for five seconds, you're out. They seem to be doing very well. 
They're all moving around, defeating the NPCs. Don't seem to see anyone getting out. There we go. Three, two, one, and stop. Well done. Seems like no one got out, so that's good. We still, but we only have two people left. So I'm going to have to start increasing the difficulty of this. <laughs> so that only one person can stay, sadly. So I'm going to make it so that you can only move into this part of the map. The little parts with the houses, right in the middle here. It's a very restricted part of the map. However, I have something big planned for the last little bit of the island. I mean, the last little bit of the challenge. So, I'm going to say I need a fruit. So, I'm going to go get an alt. Oh, it seems like Omelette's going to go get the fruit for me. Thank you very much, Omelette. I hope you get... Okay, there we go. Thank you, kind sir. Thanks for the fruit. The fruit doesn't matter as long as it's a fruit. Yep. <laughs> yep, just drop it to me and I will... So the thing is, I will hide the fruit somewhere on this island. And whoever can find it first, that's the person who will win the permanent fruits. They get to choose whatever permanent fruit they want. So, I'm willing to even buy them a permanent leopard if they want. There we go. So everyone's at jungle, so no one peeks. Everyone had to move at jungle. I didn't want them peeking. Seeing where I hide it. Alright, I'd say that's a pretty good place to hide the bomb fruit. And now, let's welcome them back over and see who can find it first. So it's a free-for-all. Whoever can get back on the island wins the fruit. Just find the fruit as soon as you can. I would be racing over here, teleporting home, trying to find it. Oh, it looks like... looks like a... Pokemon's on his right on the right way. Yep, there we go. Barry, stop looking. It looks like Pokemon's already found it. That's very sad. I'm sorry, Barry. <laughs> that is very depressing, but we do have a winner. So, congratulations to Pokemon Master for winning the permanent game part, a permanent fruit. Whatever he wants, he can get. I'll offer it to him. And look at that, even a fruit spawn, just for extra luck. So let's see whatever fruit he wants. He needs to go. He needs to go see what he wants. Uh, no problem. As long as you don't take too long. <laughs> I was supposed to make you wait, not you make me wait. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's fine. All right, let's see what he wants. He wants a permanent dragon. Ooh. Okay. That's doable. Very doable. Ooh, two thousand six hundred. Ooh. Two thousand six hundred. Need to check who he is. Yep. Pokemon Monster. Yep, there we go. Just give it to, to him. Alright. Enjoy your permanent dragon, man. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I'm sure it'll... I'm sure it'll go to great use. Just even in the third sea. Just use it in the third sea, because that's when it's most useful. Don't use it for grinding, man. Trust me, do not use dragon for grinding. <laughs> I've tried it, and it doesn't go well, so... Just use, he has dough at the moment, so I'd recommend keeping the dough. Yep. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's really up to you if you want to switch it. I'm not putting any pressure on you. It's just a perm fruit. You can save it for later. You know, you can always, you can always equip dragon later. You don't need to do it straight away. But anyway, I will do another one soon. And this is the guy that joined halfway through the challenge. I felt bad for him, so I decided to give him a dark blade, because he joined too late and he wanted to join the challenge, but he didn't get a chance, so I felt really bad, so I was going to offer him a dark blade. Wait, is, does he want a perm kilo? What? Perm kilo over a dark blade. Are you serious? Is this guy is serious right now? 
Come on. No way he wants a perm kilo over a dark blade. Well, anyway, guys. Thank you for watching. This will ra this wraps up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to subscribe. These videos are very expensive for me. And it would be a great help if you subscribed.